Hey, it's Jake from Dive Extras. Today, we'll be walking through the production and assembly process of our Blacktip Tech scooter. This can be useful for owners who are looking to disassemble their Blacktip to replace or repair any old or damaged parts, or for just an interesting look behind the scenes at Dive Extras. So let's get started. For a complete breakdown of every part that goes into our Blacktip scooters, check out our comprehensive parts list and exploded diagrams through the Dive Extras support page. We will include a link in the description below this video. The first part of the assembly we'll look at is the Blacktip's nose. For this, you'll need the nose handle, four M5x16 pan head thread forming screws, the nose cap, two weight plates, four M5x18 pan head thread forming screws, both the inner and outer O-rings, and some steel shot. It can help to have a few small pieces of foam on hand as well. The first step is to attach the nose handle to the nose cap. Simply press the handle into the spaces on the top of the cap and fasten a M5x16 screw into each of the four holes. Next, we'll install the steel shot and weight plates. This step is for our Blacktip Tech and Exploration models only, as the travel does not require additional weighting. Fasten the four M5x18 screws partially into their holes on the bottom of the nose. This will make sure we don't spill any steel shot into these spots later. Next, we'll prep our scale. If you'll be using foam spacers to fill in the square gaps in the nose, make sure to subtract their weight from your scale before measuring your nose. Now with our scale ready, we'll add the weight plates and the prepped nose cap and slowly start to fill in the exposed grooves with the steel shot until the nose matches the correct weight for the tube it will attach to. Smooth out the steel shot evenly so none of the shot sits on top of the plastic of the nose cone. Next, remove the screws and foam from the nose and set the weight plates on top, lining up the screw holes with the small gaps in the plates. Fasten the weight plates in place with the M5x18 screws. Finally, loop the O-rings onto the grooves around the base of the nose. We recommend starting with the inner ring first. Both O-rings should be lubricated with a marine grade lubricant before installing. Once that's done, the nose is fully assembled. Moving on to the body tube assembly, we will start by fastening the battery harness assembly inside the body tube using two mounting blocks and four M5x12 screws. To do this, align the curved lip on each mounting block with the upper grooves inside the tube. Next, hook the bottom ends of the battery harness mounts into the bottom grooves of the tube. Then fasten the M5x12 screws down through the battery harnesses and into the mounting blocks to secure them in place. Next, we'll install the weight plate mount. First, loosely attach a mounting block to one side of the plate mount using two M5x12 screws. Set this inside the lower grooves of the tube and then place the second mounting block inside the opposite empty groove. Make sure your mount plate is roughly 90 degrees to the right of your battery ports to best counter your scooter's prop rotation. Now tighten the plate to both mounting blocks securely. It can be useful to verify the plate's position by temporarily installing a battery into the body and checking for adequate clearance. We can now attach the weight plate in place if you are prepping the scooter for saltwater use. Start the first thumb screw, then align the weight plate to your preference using the grooves in the side of the plate, and add the second thumb screw. Finally, tighten both thumb screws to secure the weight plate in place. For freshwater diving, you do not need to install this weight plate. Finally, let's assemble the tail section. Grab one of the Blacktip's four strut arms, the handle, and an M5x35 flathead thread forming screw. Apply a small amount of lubricant to the screw tip. Slide the handle into the notch in the side of the prop shroud, and slot the screw into the hole in the grip handle. Drill the screw partially through the shroud, then place the strut arm against the inside of the shroud and tighten the screw all the way. Next, attach the strut arms on either side of the handle using four M4.8 by 13 pan head thread forming screws, two for each arm. The last arm, opposite the handle, attaches to the shroud using two M5 by 16 pan head thread forming screws and includes a tow cord mount piece screwed to the outside of the shroud, facing downward. Now that all the strut arms are attached, we will run an 11 by 32 inch drill bit up the handle arm to ensure clearance for the trigger rod. Blow or sweep out any loose shavings. Now we'll install the trigger piece inside the black tip handle by sliding the rod up through the strut arm. Make sure you've placed the trigger magnet in the end of the trigger rod before performing this step. Then we'll place one end of the trigger spring onto the pin underneath the thumb trigger and the other end into the small hole in the middle of the handle piece. To hold it all in place, we'll install one M3x6 pan head thread forming screw into the small hole in the side of the trigger rod. Now our trigger is assembled. 
The next step in the assembly process is installing the center ring electronics and mounting it to the rest of the tail. To do this, we'll start by cleaning around the opening in the central ring piece with some rubbing alcohol. This space is where we'll install the LED screen. Next, we'll take the clear plastic display window piece and scrape off any discoloration around the edges from the laser cutting process. Once it looks good, peel off the backing on the screen and press it into place on the central ring. Use a clamp to apply pressure to the display window while it binds to the central ring. Let it set between 5 to 10 minutes. Once that is finished, we'll install the LED screen itself. Peel off the protective plastic from the screen, then apply some more rubbing alcohol. Now press the screen firmly to the exposed adhesive backing of the protective cover, and we're good to go. Then attach the black tip central ring to the tail strut arms, which may require a mallet. To install the reed switch into the tail, we start by applying a small amount of CA glue accelerant to the end of the reed switch, then insert it into the opening in the central ring above the trigger arm. We've also connected the reed switch to a circuit tester that will help us align the switch correctly. Once your reed switch and circuit checker are ready, we will test the position of the trigger required for the switch to engage, making small adjustments to the reed switch's clocking until it activates at a comfortable trigger position. We prefer to set our reed switches to engage around the halfway point. Holding the reed switch in that position, we will now add a drop of superglue to the switch wires and secure them to the side of the central ring, making sure the reed switch is in the same position we set earlier. Be very attentive during this step, because once the glue has set, it is permanently fixed. If the trigger actuates correctly after gluing, we can move on to the next step. Next, we'll take a short break from the central ring to prep our motor and prop shaft components. Now we have two different assembly processes for this section, depending on the year of your scooter. We'll start by showing you the assembly process for our 2019 through 2020 black tips. For this, we'll attach a retaining clip around the prop shaft extension. Then we'll secure the motor in a collet clamp and slightly widen the rim of the threaded end with a wide drill bit. After cleaning up the opening, apply a bit of Loctite adhesive to the end of the threads on the shaft extension and tighten the prop shaft to the motor. Once the two pieces are locked together, clean up any remaining adhesive and set the motor assembly aside for now. The second assembly method we use for our 2021 and newer model black dips changes out the threaded shaft extension for an aluminum heat shrink prop shaft. If you own the previous black tip model and have received a heat shrink prop shaft piece from us as a replacement, don't worry. This new assembly method is backwards compatible and will work just fine with the previous threaded prop shafts. Start by preheating an oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, then place the prop shaft extension inside and heat for 15 minutes. Next, we'll remove the main shaft from the motor hub by pressing it out from the middle. After the shaft extensions are fully heated, the aluminum will be expanded and ready to attach to the shaft. Simply slide the wide end of the extension over the end of the shaft and press down firmly to attach. Make sure the extension is fully seated all the way down on the motor shaft. A blowtorch or similar heating tool can be used to loosen the assembly if you need to remove it or press it down further. Let that sit for 10 to 20 minutes until no warmer than your hand. Meanwhile, we will prep our motor and tail assembly by attaching O-rings around the top and bottom of the motor. Once that is in place, we will add one more O-ring to the bottom of the central ring. To install the motor, first straighten out the wires on top of the motor and feed them through the central ring, setting the motor on top of the O-ring we just installed. Now replace the prop shaft inside the motor once it has fully cooled, and add the black tip tail cone cover piece on top of it. Apply a bit of lubricant to the tips of four M4.8 by 100 pan head thread forming screws and insert them into each of the four screw holes around the base of the tail cone piece. Then we'll use a press to seal the motor into place. Our press is fitted with a length of PVC pipe to avoid any pressure onto the prop shaft itself, while still pressing down on the tail cone. Once the tail is pressed together, fasten the screws, then remove the tail from the press. The next step is installing the propeller. Start by prepping the shaft seal and compression spring. Apply a small amount of lube around the outside of the seal and place the seal around the prop shaft, grooved side down. Add a bit more lube around the threads of the prop shaft, then push the compression spring into place and secure it with the hub doweled pin. Now we can place the propeller assembly onto the prop shaft. To finish this portion of the assembly, apply a small amount of Tef Gel lube and corrosion preventer to an M5x10 pan head Torx machine screw and screw in place. Finally, we'll install the electronics. Start by pressing the cover of the LED wire flat and adding a bend in it. Then attach the Anderson cable housings onto the three black tip motor wires. Once our wires have been prepped, we can install the black tip controller assembly into the central ring. Pay close attention to the placement of each wire here.
We'll also install the blue LED wire into the remaining empty blue Anderson cable housing. Lastly, we'll connect the VEST controller to the reed switch before securing the VESC assembly in place with M4.8x13 pan head thread forming screws. We'll also attach a cable tie mount underneath one of the screws. Now, we'll connect the last wires together, between the motor and the VEST controller. Then secure that in place with a cable tie. Lastly, we'll install batteries or a power bank to our black tip and check the fit of our propeller. Place a piece of sandpaper along the inside of the prop shroud and run the prop across it to check for prop er clearance. Pun intended. If any of the blades rub against the sandpaper, we will sand off the end of that prop blade until it spins freely. Once the propeller has been checked, our scooter is fully assembled. The torque settings we use for our Milwaukee brand electric screwdrivers and impact hammers are as follows. 13 for most everything, or 3 for VEST interface screws. So that's the assembly process of the Black Tip Tech scooter. If you have any other questions, feel free to visit our website's support page, where you'll find user manuals, a comprehensive list of all the components that go into a black tip scooter and other resources. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this in the future. I'm Jake, and from all of us at Dive Extras, happy diving.